Okay, so the next plot that we're going to create is a line plot. And what we're going to do is actually build this time series plot. Um, what we're doing is plotting the monthly uh, revenue to expose the cyclic nature in this particular time series. So we can see that there's higher months and then there's lower months, higher months, lower months. So um, this is a very useful type of plot. Um, line plots are really good for time series uh, and it's, it's a, a good base and we can always add other things to the line plots as well. Uh, it follows the same two steps. So we're going to do a data manipulation first to get it in the monthly format. And then we're going to do a line plot um, using uh, a different type of geometry called geom underscore line. Okay, so let's get started. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to take our bike order lines and we're going to pair, pair down the data to what we need. So we've got our bike order lines here. And let me just open this up. So um, what we're going to need to get is order date and total price. So order date is our time series and total price has the values that we're going to have to summarize. So uh, we're going to select order underscore date and total underscore price and when we do that we have the date column and the price column okay next is um, a little bit of additional uh, mutation and we're going to use a lubridate function so we've got mutate uh, and what we're going to do is take this date column and we're going to grab the uh, we're going to take it to floor date so we're going to uh, make a basically a year month so year underscore month and we're going to set that equal to floor underscore date. X will be the order date column. And the units will be months. So let's send this to the screen, see what we get. Okay, so this is a date time that's output. If you want to, um, you could change this to, you could pipe this into YMD to do year, month, day, and that'll um, get rid of that date or the, uh, the, the timestamp. So I, I prefer to keep dates as date format and not date times. Okay. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a group by and summarize, and we're going to group by everything that's been grouped into that month. So what we can do is do group underscore by, and we're going to group it on year underscore month. When we do that, we get our groups here. Uh, it's a tibble 15644 by three, but there are groups now that have been added and there's 60 total groups because there's 60 total months in there. The next thing that we're going to do is summarize and we're going to aggregate uh, creating a new column called revenue and that column is going to be the sum of total underscore price. Okay, so when we do that, we get a 60 by 2 table out. Um, I always add an ungroup and um, I do that just for good measure, um, just to make sure there's no groups that are left over. Okay, so what we have here is the year month, so 2011-01-01, which is January 1st, 2011, uh, to February 1st, 2011, and so on. And we have the revenue for each of those months. So this is the data format that we're going to need for the ggplot. So let's save it as revenue by month. By month underscore tibble. Alt dash, control enter, and we can output it down here. Revenue by month, Tibble, control enter, and we've got it saved here appropriately.